Today marks the 56th anniversary of the Orangeburg Massacre. Students, faculty, staff and activists gathered at South Carolina State University to remember those who were lost and affected by this tragedy. WIS reporter Jalen Tart was at the ceremony and has more. Hundreds of people gathered on the campus of South Carolina State University to honor and celebrate the lives that were lost 56 years ago. It was one of the most violent incidents of the civil rights movement in South Carolina. Two SC State students, Samuel Hammond, Henry Smith, and Delano Middleton, who was still in high school, was killed when South Carolina Highway Patrolmen opened fire during a peaceful protest. 28 other unarmed students were injured. According to witnesses, many of them were shot in the back. The activists were protesting ongoing discrimination, including an all-white policy at the All-Star Bowling Alley in Orangeburg. I spoke to Delano Whitfield, who's a senior at South Carolina State. He shares a first name with one of the victims, but says he knew nothing about the Orangeburg Massacre until he transferred to South Carolina State University. It's unbelievable an experience for me because I transferred into state three years ago and knew nothing about the Orangeburg Massacre. Um, and sometimes it's unwritten or out of the history books. And one of the young men shares my name, pronounces it different, Delano, uh, to Delano. But when I first got on campus, I felt a sense of deja vu. And I said to myself, I said, wow, there's something that's a drawn in connection to me through a name that draws me into more the connection to learn about what happened here. SC State alum Minnie Haynes was recognized along with guest speaker Dr. Clifford Stanley with the 2024 Social Justice Award. Haynes, who was the organizer of the first Orangeburg Massacre commemoration, says it's necessary to continue the legacy of the lives affected from the Orangeburg Massacre. Being right here and knowing what, what led up to it, what transpired, and seeing their loved ones who are still here. I could have empathy for what it meant to them when it happened. And yes, out of respect, we do need to continue to recognize them. Today, the university's Physical Education Center, the Smith Hammond Middleton Memorial Center, is named in the honor of the three students for their courage and sacrifice. Reporting in Orangeburg, Jalen Tart, WIS News 10.